On injured reserve, this could be very costly to the Raiders as they're out to check Wilson. Yes, they have David Hum, who was in Las Vegas working there, playing golf the first half of the year, and then it's Ray Guy. An eight-man front virtually for the their defense, and there's the blitz from the blind side right there. Woof. Otis Vicious. Wilson. Otis Wilson, number 55, and right behind Singletary, he's the man they single out as being their second most aggressive linebacker. Watch from the right-hand side of your screen. Number 55, no one even touched him. He just literally lifted Mark right off his feet, and I don't think it's a lower body injury, but there was looked like a whiplash almost. The concerned man, you just saw his eyes, and the concern in his eyes right in the middle of your picture is Jim Plunkett. Of course, not in uniform. He won't be eligible until the... Uh, 50-yard play for the Bears. The Raiders have been challenging people to go after their corners for a long while. And it's just been in the last little while that people have begun to accept the challenge. Willie Golf, world-class speed, challenges the speed of Lester Hayes and then makes a fine catch as Hayes is all over him. Finally gets him out of bounds to save the touchdown. Well, what a throw by McMahon. McMahon coming on with that broken hand. He still has a lot of swelling, but it does Peyton in action here. Behind the blocking of Suey, little misdirection to the right, and then back against the grain. Good blocking inside, and there's the official doing a little back dance and, and slap to the ground. zone is Peyton's place and he has his seventh touchdown this year. Anytime a defense jumps offside and they were drawn off McMahon staggering his count this is a freebie no matter what happens they know they've got another chance but it's breaking tackles right there McElroy Davis running right out of the arms of two of the very most physical safeties in the NFL and he shows you how he attacks the defense right there and congratulations from Mike Ditka on the sideline and the Bears have gone out ahead in this ball game and a 50 yard pass McMahon to Gold setting up the 18 yard run by Payton the three men inside covering one on one on the center and on the outside a single defensive lineman now look at the two linebackers over here lined up on the tight end and here's the safety up close eight men virtually on the line of scrimmage buddy ryan defensive coordinator as the man who put that all together getting a little shadow they look like they're ghosts out there well there and there certainly are as far as the as far as the raiders are concerned is that ball bounces loose Bruce Davis unable to control it and David Hum just shaking his head he nope. knows he made a mistake on that one you don't lateral the ball to an offensive tackle and Mike Hartenstein gladly He's falling right into the grasp of Frazier let's see what we'll be able to see it from here I think he hit someone's hand there were hands up in front of him but that ball just flipping out of the side uh, and fluttering off to the side good, good reception second big turnover much easier this time to capitalize if they have the ball just outside of the 11 yard line and Frazier has to be thrilled with an opportunity to get his team going there was Mark on the sideline something obviously Colbert, number 74, a great block out in front of Peyton, but it's that great acceleration as he gets to the outside, spots the opening, uses the block, and bursts into the end zone. Bob Thomas, try for point. And it's good. Well, not many teams on third and seven down near the goal line go to the run, but with Peyton, they made it look easy. Walter doing a little celebrating as he gets into the end zone. I think it's I think he tripped over a photographer's foot, but being the acrobat that he is, he just made a little celebration. We just talked about Richard Dent, and there he is, along with number 99, Hampton. They're just going to get back there and have a meeting at the quarterback after making Archie Manning's life so miserable last week with 11 sacks. They haven't drawn a deep breath. They're back at it again today. Well, the way Hum went down, you have to think about what happens if he is injured. Then it's Ray Guy, the punter. 
who would Hampton, the two men who are getting the problem in there. These are the guys that'll give you the heat right here. Hampton and Dent. Now watch them as they rush the passer. Dent is gonna go all the way around the outside, off your screen. Hampton right up the middle, watch him there, coming from the backside, just stripping the ball away. No chance for the quarterback. And uh, serious uh, in. For the second time today, Mark Malone has hooked up with John Stallworth for a touchdown. This one covers 18 yards. You mentioned the score. That was the latest touchdown. It's 21 nothing. second quarter. Out of your picture here. Wilson, number 55, right over on the outside of your picture, coming right straight across to nail him in here. The other thing you look at here is the, the, the defense just converging on the inside on Marcus Allen. Let's turn it loose and watch a good defense in action. Look at Wilson coming from the outside, and you notice... Watch Gent from the outside. He'll go all the way out around to come back to the quarterback here. They're also getting tremendous pressure from the inside. Even though Hampton is out of there, Jim Osborne has gone in, and look at look at that touch. This is one of the reasons they can command them. They're trying to block, and there, Kenny King had a shot at Osborne, couldn't get to him. Looks like he may have caught a helmet up underneath his chin on that. Timeout by the Raiders with 48 seconds. Well, they're virtually on track with their 11 sack pace of last week. Mark Wilson. Trying to get outside, Marcus trying to control Harris, but Wilson ran right into him. There's no way to protect him when your quarterback is going outside and you're... Let's look at Otis Wilson. He's right in the center of your picture here. He's going to drive in on a delayed blitz, and it's Wilson who will bat that pass down. Watch him as he gets a chance to come in after the initial surge, coming in behind high in the air. Took the ball down, but had his legs cut out from underneath him by Frank Hawkins, and ooh, that hurts. That was an example of beat. He also benefits from a special ability of Marcus Allen. Throwing ability. Look how the, this pass has to be thrown perfectly. Drops right in over the outstretched hands right there. The linebacker there. Fensick is there. Christensen still made the catch, but what a wonderful things happening on that play. Dent had been driven past the quarterback, came from the blind side. Wilson wanted to have wanted to have Malcolm Barnwell break open. There's the shot. Shelby Jordan right at the top, fighting to keep Dent away from the quarterback. He comes from the backside, and with that injured thumb, there was no way that Mark could hang on to that football. Dent forced the fumble, recovered the ball, They had 11 sacks last week and seven more today. 18 in two games. Buddy Ryan's defense is a feast or famine kind of defense. Eight men up front, an all-out blitz, and everybody is coming. Otis Wilson right there, Singletary, number 50. They've thrown everyone. They can't cover all the receivers, but it's hard to find the receivers when you're running for your life, and that's what they count on with that aggressive defense. Raiders trying to get the ball off before the two-minute mark, but they won't. There it is. Two minutes remaining in this game at Soldier Field, and these Bear fans who are hungry. It's been 21 years since it... Watch the hesitation.